want something from God. I want you to start praising Him. Come on and praise God for your freedom. You're not bound, you're free. You're not bound, you're free. Come on, y'all. Bend that leg in Jesus' name. Step out. Step out in the name of Jesus. Step out in the name of Jesus. Step out in the name of Jesus. Lift that leg up and loose it. Get loose it by the power of the Holy Ghost. is God's day and if it's God's day it's your day hallelujah this is the day of the children of the Lord hallelujah hallelujah brother say Jesus right now Jesus say Jesus say it again Jesus in the name of Jesus brother be loose be set free right now that's right say Jesus just say Jesus There's the experience where you say you're saved, then there's the fire baptism when you get the Holy Ghost, and that's the tongues thing. And they love to work people over. You've got to, like, shoot in on this. When you see people gathering around people and start laying hands on and praying with someone, you've got to, like, come in with the camera, too. It's very important because they'll be laying hands on someone, and the poor person will be saying, you know, thank you, Jesus. Now, this is a person that's already saved, but they're getting the baptism. And someone will be standing there going, you know, and the poor person will be standing there and they're not saying anything. Then after a while, about four or five more will gather around and they'll start doing the same thing. You know, come on, speak it out, speak it out. Until all of a sudden the person will, you know, get so overwhelmed by the thing that they start going, you know, and the next thing, you know, oh, that's it, you've got it. Like they feel good, we got another one, you know. Then they'll go on to the next person. Hey, my God, hallelujah, I come against all the powers of Satan, in Jesus Christ's name right now, I rebuke the powers of darkness, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Thank you. Coming from you, I think that's a compliment. Find out, find out where that dove, dove went. Boy, that climax on that dove was it. I like that. <laughs> I got that when I was down in Texas. You know, you know Fitzgerald? Yeah, well, Fitzgerald. I preached that the first time in his church. <laughs> Big stuff, and I'll count this. Okay. You, you gonna trust me? Oh, I think I'll trust you. Okay. <laughs> 20, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, of the Lamb. Jesus is so good to me tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I praise the Lord. Oh, glory, glory. Hallelujah. I feel good in my soul. <laughs> praise the Lord. Oh, sure isn't as heavy as it used to be, though, in the old days. Wow. It's really heavy then. I can remember how I used to have to go down and work with my mother and father, the whole thing, money, money, from the time I was four years. I really supported them, you know, when I was a child, come to think about it. I remember how they used to send me down into the aisles, and I wore these little velvet pants and uh, Lord Fontoine suits with satin shirts, but my mother would sew, like, extra pockets into the suits so I could stuff money. And they would announce tonight, now, everyone tonight that gives $20, little Marjorie's going to come down and give you a kiss. All these little lovely old ladies that wanted to get their fingers in my little curly locks. Then after I'd fill up my pockets, I'd come back and my father would alleviate me of the money. 
I don't even remember what town it was in exactly, but I'm, all I remember is he took off. We were in a meeting. He left a note. He, he preached the meeting one night, and if I remember right, I think he took the offering too. <laughs> I don't know how much came in. As far as I can guess, maybe about $3 million from the time I was 4 to 14. And I have no idea what happened to that money. I know that I never saw it, or I never got any piece of it for my education or anything. I traveled with my mother for about uh, close to two years. Novelty was wearing off of a child preaching. Our money had run out. We were more or less living at that time from meeting to meeting. Finally, I guess I was uh, close to 15, about 14 and a half. I remember we were in Los Angeles at a meeting. I said to my mother, I said, this is going to be the last time I preach. I said, I'm not going to do it anymore. So I stopped. 